Um, Richter. Let's go. Huh? Aren't you coming with me? Yes. Don't get in my way. You're responsible for protecting yourself. I'll bail you out if things get too tough. Okay. Alba really laid into you. Why didn't you say anything back? I'm sorry. You were like that with the kids in town as well. Bullies like that will never leave you alone if you don't stand up to them. Do you understand? Nothing will change if you just take it. Uh, I'm sorry. What did I say about over-apologizing? Oh, right. I'm not blaming you. You're free to do as you choose. Just don't be so submissive all the time. Have more respect for yourself. I can't tell if Richter's a nice guy or not. Emil, you fought monsters before, I assume. Huh? Um, I mean, well... Don't tell me you haven't. Um, I... only a little. So, then you have. Twice, I think. You think? Hmm? This one should do fine. A monster? Richter, what should I do? Stop panicking, for one. Children hunt monsters like this for fun. Um, but I... Relax. I'll give you instructions. Okay. should be enough. What was that? It's called an art. You learn them the more you fight and develop your skills. Even I can learn them? You will in time. So, now do you understand how to fight? I... I think so. Don't worry. I told you, I'll back you up. I'm the one who asked for your help. I won't let anything happen to you. Okay. Um... What is it? Why are you... um... Why are you looking for Marta? 
Is that something you need to know in order to live? Um, no. I was just wondering. I have no need to satisfy your idle curiosity. I'm sorry. Don't apologize so excessively. Uh. I'm often accused of being short with people. I don't intend to change my ways, but it doesn't mean I have anything against you. Thank you. That's not something you need to thank me for. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Emil, stop! Pay attention. You almost walked right into a monster. Sorry. If you touch any monster you see walking around, you'll have to fight them. Got it? If you stumble into an enemy, as you almost did just now, they're likely to get the upper hand and attack you from behind. So the way you run into monsters makes a difference? That's right. Attacking an enemy from behind works out in your favor, but if they get behind you, they'll have the advantage. It's the same for both fighting and fleeing. Be aware of the enemy's direction and movements. Failing to do so can get you killed. Okay, I understand. And one more thing. I can't have you wandering in a daze like that again, so listen. It's not that I didn't appreciate your words of gratitude. I simply feel there's no need to give more thanks or apologies than the situation calls for. All right. We must express ourselves to convey our feelings to others. However, I feel emotions lose their strength once they're put into words. So I prefer to speak only what is absolutely necessary. That's all. Okay. This is the first time I've ever had to explain this much to anyone. Monster. Don't worry about it. Of course I'm gonna worry. Then you can wait here. What about you? There's a monster in there. Probably a strong one. Wait here until I take it out. But I... You'll just get in the way. Stay here. Okay. I'm just not cut out for this sort of thing. <gasps> Was that Marta? What should I do? If things get dangerous... Will you... save me again? I don't know anything about her. But... I can't just ignore it. Now, hand over that Ratatosk's core on your forehead. No. Then I'll just have to destroy it along with you. Stop! Stop it, please! Richter, what are you doing? I thought I told you to wait on the other side of the door. 
This is why you were looking for her? So you could kill her? That's right. Why? Because she is trying to awaken Ratatosk, the Demon Lord. Demon Lord? What are you talking about? I agree. It's quite a foolish name, but Demon Lord is the most appropriate term to describe what he is. If Ratatosk awakens, the world will be destroyed. No, you're wrong! Ratatosk is not a demon! He's the lord of all monsters! He won't destroy the world! I'm not interested in semantics. What are you doing? Step aside. No. Move. I'm not a dog. That's why I'm going to make my own decisions. Emil. I don't want to kill you. Move! I... I don't really understand what you two are talking about, but you can't do things like this. If you just talk this over... I thought I told you not to get in my way. Aqua, show yourself. You called, Master Richter? Take care of the boy. Just don't overdo it. A talking monster? Who are you calling a monster, you human? I am a Centurion. Centurion Aqua! Now then, my cute little minion, remove the boy from our presence! <sighs> what was that? I won't be able to catch up with Richter with that thing in the way. You must forge a pact. Huh? Another talking monster? I am not a beast. I too am a Centurion. Centurion Tenebrae. Centurion Tenebrae? You could never defeat the monster on the other side of this door as you are now. Forge a pact to become a Knight of Ratatosk. Then you will be able to accept Lord Ratatosk's power in battle. What do you mean? There is no time to explain. Lady Marta is in danger. But, I mean, you're just a monster, a centurion. I mean, and I, I don't know if... That how? Were you the one calling me? Lady Marta was looking for you. You saved her life and she has chosen you to be a knight. M me? Now, forge the pact. I'll make the pact. Understood. Emil, I command you, unleash the power within yourself. Awaken, hunter of evil! Tenebrae, what are you doing here? Let's go. What? You want to fight? You're going to regret this. 
The only one who's gonna regret this is you. Now come on! What just happened? Lord Ratatosk's power took hold of you. It felt like I became someone else. Yes, that was Lord Ratatosk's power. I'm not quite sure I understand. Anyway, what happened to Aqua? I didn't even touch her. Centurions themselves do not fight. They employ monster servants to battle in their place. If their monsters are defeated, the Centurion's power will also fade. Right now, she is only unconscious. Oh, that's good. I didn't want to hurt her. Come, we must go after Lady Marta. Did I learn something just now? It appears you've acquired a skill. A skill? Yes, a special technique for battle. Skills are acquired by meeting certain requirements. Everyone has their own set of skills they can learn. Once learned, you can set which skills to use from the skill screen on the menu. Select whatever skills you think will be the most useful. However, the number of skills you can equip at one time is limited. The total points of all selected skills cannot exceed a character's skill point limit. So think carefully when setting your skills. Do you understand? Yeah, sort of. Do you really? I've got it, I think. This should be an interesting journey. I wonder if I can do this. You can. I have every confidence that you can save Lady Marta. <laughs> you must believe in your powers as a knight of Ratatosk. But I... Humans have a saying, seeing is believing. I don't think that exactly applies here. Anyway, thanks, Tenebrae. I'll give it my best shot. It, it won't open. Richter must have sealed it off. What should we do? I feel a draft. There must be another passage somewhere. Perhaps you should use the sorcerer's ring to examine the walls. What's that? There, on your finger. Huh? That ring was given to you by Lord Ratatosk as a symbol of your pact. 
Magical power dwells within it. But I'm a human. Only elves and half-elves can use magic. Don't worry. That ring can be used by humans as well. Really? I guess I'll try it out. So, Tenebrae, somewhere along the way I got all new clothes. I see you finally noticed. I've been wondering when you would bring it up. I noticed right away. It just never seemed like a good time to ask. Along with the Sorcerer's Ring, those clothes are a symbol of your pact with Lord Ratatosk. It's vital that a Knight of Ratatosk present himself with a certain degree of elegance. R right. The outfit's fabric is prepared with a number of special incantations and hexes that make the garment waterproof, wrinkle-free, and mold-resistant. The design is meant to evoke Lord Ratatosk's fierce bravery and his subtle grace. The effect is mesmerizing. Wait a sec. One other question. Yes? What happened to the clothes I was wearing before? That is the darkness's... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, forget I said anything. The darkness is what? <laughs> hey, come on! That floor is going to skin me alive if I lose those clothes. <laughs> Only the darkness knows. An imp. It will do nicely. Let us forge a pact. Pact? Your power as a knight of Ratatosk is granted to you by Lord Ratatosk himself. However, he is currently in a deep slumber. As a result, the power he grants you is very weak. This is weak? No way! Lord Ratatosk is very powerful. As you gain experience and grow your abilities, it's crucial you continue to unlock more of his strength. But how am I supposed to do that? It's simple. We Centurions share a bond with Lord Ratatosk. If power is restored to the Centurions, Lord Ratatosk's strength will return as well. We can accomplish this by forging pacts with monsters. How does that work? As I explained earlier, Centurions do not engage in battle themselves. We use monsters under our control. A Centurion's power depends on the number and strength of the monsters it employs. I am the Centurion of Darkness, so any pact you make with dark elemental monsters will bring them under my control and make me more powerful in the process. So the more monsters I get on my side, the stronger I'll become? That's correct. But how do I make a pact? Like this. What are you doing? 
In order to make a pact, you must first prove you are more powerful than your opponent. You must force them to yield to you in battle. You didn't tell me I'd have to fight! I just did. Ah, it approaches. Wait! Well done. You have made the imp your ally. Hey, Aqua is a centurion too, right? Will I get stronger if she has more monsters under her control? No. Aqua has chosen to sever her bond with Lord Ratatosk. As such, even if she acquires more monster servants, your powers will not increase. But there are other centurions, right? Yes, you will learn about the others in due time. But you may enter into packs with monsters without the Centurion of the same element. Later, when you befriend the appropriate Centurions, your strength will increase accordingly. That's nice and everything, but I only became a Knight of Ratatos because I needed a fight now. I'm not really interested in getting any stronger than this. Now, now. There's no harm in arming yourself with a little information. Also, to make pacts, you will need the pact magic appropriate for each monster. Really? Yes. When you have subdued a monster that you wish to make your ally, I will cast the pact magic. I'm not sure I understand, so I'll leave it to you. That's fine. Ah, now there's a wolf. Just what we're looking for. Try making a pact with him. But I just made a pact with a monster. Yes, but I'll teach you a way to make forming pacts easier. There's an easier way? Yes, you can make monsters under your control fight beside you. If your ally and the enemy are compatible, the pact will go more smoothly. Add the imp you gain to your combat roster, and then try fighting the wolf. Okay. Kick, 
Well done. Now the wolf has also become our ally. Why is making packs easier depending on the monster you have fighting with you? Monsters have compatibility with each other. The type and strength of the monsters you befriend also have an effect on packs. Make sure to experiment with this yourself. monster joined us? Bravo! Huh? Beautiful, fantastic, simply excellent. I must admit, I am quite impressed. Really? Of course that monster is ideal for beginners. I would be rather concerned if you had failed. This may lead to where we need to go. Let's proceed. Okay. Servant of the Chosen of Regeneration? The core. He. Richter! It's all right. The attack missed his vital organs. So he'll survive? Yes. Just leave him here and he will be fine. It is more important to go after Lady Marta. Leave him here? We can't do that. We need to at least tell someone. There's no time. Now that Lloyd has appeared, time is of the essence. Lady Marta's life is in grave danger. After all, this man is the enemy. Didn't you come here to protect her? I did, but I can't just leave him like this. Richter said some mean things. 
But he also helped me. Can't just abandon him now. Go on ahead and find Marta. I'll follow you as soon as I can. I believe you will regret this decision, but it is yours to make. Damn, Lloyd. How could he do that to Richter? First he took my mother and father from me, and now he's hurt Richter. I won't let him get away with this. You have to come with me. Huh? You expect me to just go with you after what happened? That doesn't matter right now. Richter's been hurt badly. Lloyd attacked him and... What? Lloyd? I think he'll live, but I'm still worried. Hurry and help him. You came back to tell me that? Hmm, you're not half bad. Nowhere near as cool as Master Richter, but still. <laughs> Just come. Master Richter! Aqua, how is he? He'll be fine. He took a sword to the back, but that's not the reason he collapsed. It's the wound from two years ago. What happened? If you weren't my enemy, I'd tell you. Anyway, leave Master Richter to me. All right, time to find Marta. Lloyd's after her. I better hurry. Who are you? Why did you kill them? Emil! My mother and my father, and all those people in Pamacosta. Why did you have to kill all of them? <gasps> Not again. With Pamacosta. How dare you say that? What do you mean, again? I'll never forgive you for that! I'm alive. I guess he decided not to kill us. Lady Marta, 
Centurion Lumen's core is... It's gone! Uh, are you talking about a white jewel? I, I think that Lloyd took it with him. He took it? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Was it important? Yes. Centurion Lumen's core is essential to our journey. Lady Marta, let's hurry. You and I must go after them. <sighs> okay, but first... Thank you so much, Emil. I really appreciate you saving me once again. Uh, I didn't do anything. I mean, I was pretty much useless. But you did save me. You became a knight. A knight of Ratatosk. That's why you were able to save me, right? I always thought that you would make a wonderful knight. It's true. That's what I thought ever since the first time we met. You what? <laughs> it's okay. I guess that it just wasn't as memorable for you. But honestly, I'm very grateful to you for saving me. What would I have done without you? Uh, um... Lady Marta, we must hurry. Yes, you're right. Emil? Would you help us? Just until we make it out of this place? Uh, sure. Marta is kind of a strange girl. What's this? It looks like the mask that Lloyd was wearing. It's pretty... tacky. Super tacky. Tacky, indeed. Hey, Emil. I think we're pretty strong now. Yeah. I think I figured out a fighting style that suits me, but I've still got a lot to learn. I guess once you think you're the best, that's when you stop improving. But you're only going to get stronger. I'm sure of it. You too. Yeah, so let's get to it. It appears the door has been sealed from the other side. Damn! This must be Lloyd's doing. I'm sure he did this to trap us in here. Ugh! There is a draft. There must be another way out. Let's have a look around. This is Lloyd's mask. It's probably inspired by that play, The Phantom of the Operetta. You think so? It reminds me more of F for Feud. Is that the one with the twin brothers where the one is king and at the end they switch places? You're thinking of the man in the Illumina mask. How can you get those two mixed up? I have no idea what you two are talking about. I can't believe the time's finally come. What is it, Emil? Counting this last fight, we fought 500 battles. Really? That's incredible! Well, I mean, we've still got plenty of fighting left to do. I can't believe you've actually kept track this entire time. You're amazing! Oh, that's what you meant. Jewel Hunter Lloyd Irving is here. What's this? Ah, uh, that jerk! Set it on fire! Emil, burn it for her. Burn it? Oh, you mean that? It opened! Great! Now we can go search for Lloyd! But I'm only able to pick up a small trace of Lumen. It may be too late to follow them. No, 
Is this Lumen's core really so valuable that you'd fight over it? Oh, I guess a lot of this doesn't make sense to you. To put it simply, the Centurion's cores are the eggs of Centurions, like Tenebrae. Lumen's core is the egg of Centurion Lumen. You might say that cores contain Centurions in hibernation. And the core on my forehead is Ratatosk's core, and it's... The, the Demon Lord's egg? I told you he's not a demon! Perhaps we should take the time to explain all of this to Emil. True, but let's get out of here first.